that representation of your spouse or your friend that you're hanging out with, that's a huge part of your event model in real life. And also in film, you know, if you've got the, the two characters who are sneaking off to plot their revenge, their topic of conversation, their motives, their affect, the way that they're moving and where they're headed through the space, all of that is a super important part of comprehending what's going to happen. We're intensely social creatures. And so a big part of our event models most of the time are models of the other people in our environment. That's right. Now, this is related to an issue, which is when I was younger, I was really surprised that movies worked because you're watching some scene, let's say some people plotting something in inside the castle, and then you cut to a scene where you have, you know, bearded horsemen riding across the plains and, you know, you're suddenly in a completely different location and different part of the plot and people don't scream or get surprised, but they're totally fine to see the thing switch from one to the next in the space of a frame. So wh why is that? Yeah, so that part is really kind of bonkers that it works because in our real life, there are these continuity constraints, right? Time doesn't jump around, space changes. Like you walk through a doorway and that's a huge deal because the affordances of the space totally change in a way that they don't as you're walking within a room. But, you know, you don't walk through the doorway and wind up in France. <laughs> um, but in a movie, that's totally, totally normal. And my understanding from reading the history is that early filmmakers figured out that this was doable kind of by accident, right? The original idea was that what we're going to do with these cameras is we're going to film stage sets and we're going to do things kind of like we do in the theater. And just as people were putting stuff on film and then looking back at the recordings and seeing what happened when you went from one take to the other, they realized, oh, you can do this. And the brain is going to use the mechanisms that it uses to update things when you walk through that doorway and apply them to the situation where you're walking through a doorway from one continent to another that might be hundreds of years apart. And surprisingly, it works. 